you know, it's always a sticky wicket with uh, elected boards. Um, you know, by the time I guess, well, first of all, let me start by saying that, you know, I think that the Recreation Commission in town has uh, done some wonderful things uh, over the last few years. Uh, uh, the activities they have uh, for the youth and uh, seniors, and uh, I guess the thing that stands out uh, is the program, uh, the summer program uh, for our youth. Um, so these, those things uh, uh, are not taken lightly, and uh, you know, we appreciate uh, all that's been done for that. Uh, when, I get, when we talk about elected boards in town, uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, and I guess I, I think. I think a perception a lot of times in town is that, you know, everything, the buck stops here, everything rolls up uh, with this board. Uh, with elected boards, that is simply not the case. Um, they, like us, we work directly with people who are uh, sponsored. Uh, and I guess in a, in a situation where we would have plenty of boards, uh, as you know, Mr. Chairman, if there are issues or uh, continuing issues, uh, the appointing authority, which is normally us, uh, would uh, tackle those issues uh, early on uh, and rectify those issues uh, before they get out of hand. And elected boards, uh, that's not always the case. Um, so that puts us in a situation now, uh, as they are an elected board, uh, but as you mentioned, being uh, the chief executive board in this town, uh, I think we do have a responsibility uh, when things uh, escalate uh, on other elected boards to see, uh, at least see what our options are. Uh, that being said, uh, I have had a deluge of calls over the last couple of days uh, by the members uh, of the Recreation Board. Uh, I need to talk to all of them.
uh, to um, uh, verify what I'm about to say is that there was just one member uh, that apparently uh, didn't agree with how the board uh, was uh, undertaking their business and chose to go off and do certain things uh, that provoked uh, you know, other board members, particularly the, the chairperson, I, I see that she's not here now, uh, and it, the core ramped up to where the dispute got to be where there was police intervention. You know, I thought that was a little out of hand, and that's why I said what I said at the last meeting. Uh, with that said, I have been reassured by a number of the, of the membership that's here tonight that that really would have been taken care of internally, and they were prepared to do that, and apparently they were going to meet tonight until they found out that uh, this discussion was going to take place at the selection meeting. And they were prepared to address that situation and pull things back into the context of, look, you know, we want to focus on doing what we're supposed to do and not this wayward kind of uh, disposition. So if that, in fact, is true, then I'm very satisfied that the board has been responsive to our interest in having a code of conduct and doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, and that quarrel may very well dissipate with the election of new members, apparently. Uh, there are some members that will be in the board. There's a number of uh, individuals that will be joining the board because they're, they're running on post. Uh, so with that said, uh, I, I certainly know what can be done in the event that, that there is uh, something that we don't particularly find attractive, which to me would be something that really raises the bar. Perhaps if there was uh, issues with the funds missing funds or something else that rose to that level that things were way out of hand. Disputes amongst the memberships, uh, amongst the membership, you know, I, I think that internally uh, they're all top individuals that should be able to resolve it on their own. I know that we allowed the town council to inter uh, intervene when uh, the open meeting law was that question. Uh, I think that perhaps we can provide them some guidance. But I also think, and, and I will speak to the membership that's present here tonight, you know, my particular feeling on it is, look, you know, we don't like what was going on. That's why we addressed it. And, and I do think that you were responsive. I'd like to thank you all personally for that. But please continue uh, along uh, that approach. Because if it does get out of hand, we will act. And we have been a responsible board and, and, and responsive, uh, where we can certainly identify what can and would be done in the event that those uh, things did happen. With that said, uh, as with everyone else in Swansea, I would prefer to give them the benefit of the doubt and let them move forward in, in a productive capacity. Uh, but understanding quite well that you know what has been going on is, is something that really can be tolerated by the folks like Swansea. We don't want that to occur. I think I can speak to, uh, for my uh, fellow members, and apparently that's, uh, that's very clear because I'm the agenda tonight. Uh, so, uh, with that, you know, the benefit of the doubt, an election a couple of weeks away, uh, it moves forward. Uh, as Mr. Ventura said, it's a very important program. They hire a number of people, a number of people are affected. Uh, I think that uh, it really, this activity in itself is really, uh, I, I would. I would have wished that it didn't have to happen and, and the Recreation Commission didn't have to come here before the Board of Selectmen because I'm sure there are a number of parents that are out there watching this particular program who have great concerns uh, about what's happening with the program. The program will continue to function. Everything should be the way it always has been. And, you know, and, and I'm, I'm the first one right now to, to lend my trust to that and ask you that you do your best and we'll move on. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. And, and also to Mr. Markey's point, I concur that uh, anything, any any action uh, the board would contemplate uh, making, I want to be very clear to parents at home that uh, we will act in a responsible manner and never jeopardize any of the programs which would affect uh, your, your children, uh, either this coming summer or at any other point in time. So I, 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 I saw the events that were going on. I know there's quite a bit of history there. Before we uh, wrap up, I, I want to hear from Mr. Kern as well. We have um, a Mr. 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 Higgins, Mr. Higgins, <coughs> Mr. Higgins, you do not have the floor. No, I'm not here. Well, I'm I, 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 Mr. Higgins, you do not have the floor. You're out of order. I, 
plan on wrapping up uh, uh, by, by asking Mr. Kern uh, his thoughts on the subject, uh, which I would very much value uh, getting out in the open as well as part of this conversation. And then uh, the board can deal with uh, what direction it would like to take going forward. Uh, hearing full well, Mr. Markey, I think I heard your recommendation loud and clear. Um, I'd just like to uh, see if uh, Mr. Ventura concurs that that would be the best course of action at this point in time once we've had the <coughs> individually. Uh, I've had a number of conversations with other people, both past members of the Recreation Commission. Uh, as I think at least two of the members up here said, um, it's not always clear to people out in town what the relationship between the Chief Executive and uh, in this form of government has in terms of influence over how an elected board acts. Uh, oftentimes the perception isn't uh, isn't what really uh, exists. My input to the board, uh, as Mr. Furtado said, uh, and I'll repeat it, uh, has, has to do with the operation of the Radiation Commission over a number of years. It's not a reaction to a particular set of circumstances that have occurred in the last few weeks. In my view, this isn't a case of being being pulled in front of the selectmen to be told to behave and go back to doing what you're doing. That's not what this is. What it is is an observation on my part. The person who comes to work every day in town hall and deals with the complaints that come into town hall about all of the operations of, of town government that uh, through many different uh, formulations of the board, this board hasn't functioned as well, and particularly the elected part of this board hasn't worked as well as other boards in town. Um, there's been a reduction in the size of the board because we're having a hard time filling uh, the board and getting a quorum. It's, it's not against the law to run unopposed, but this group, the people that run through this board have run unopposed at a much higher uh, number than others. People get talked into the board, they're elected to the board, they don't last very long, they leave, they come and have uh, conversations and feedback about the operation of the board. Um, we've had some people that were, I think, relatively well respected recently that have resigned. There is a management uh, factor here that uh, the, the chief executive in a community like this needs to consider, I think, after some number of years, whether the amount of effort being put into managing both in terms of the people who are on the board, the people who work for the board, town council who's been involved with this board far more than others. Um, I, think, I think that's what we're really talking about. We're not talking about a dispute between two people. Um, I don't see any evidence for as it relates to that, that that is subsiding, I see uh, actually just the contrary. But as I said, that's not what, really is, what this is really about. What this is about is, does the elected part of this board work? Does the elected component of this board work? And, and without getting too far off, we've had conversations about volunteer work in towns this size and this town in general. Um, and people generally don't like to run. They don't like the feeling of having to run. They also perceive things differently when they have to run. That doesn't mean you close it down just because people don't like to run, but I think you have to look at the whole situation of this, for the operation of this, uh, of this very important function in town government. And to me, uh, it goes without saying that that function wouldn't, wouldn't go away. The question is, is that function being operated to uh, the best capacity that it can be in Swansea? Um, I think that's the question for everyone. And, and that question doesn't get to everyone if the executive doesn't act. Um, it's, it's not a case where uh, people could say, well, well, you just run and go straight it out yourself. Well, as I said, you guys know because people talk to you just like they talk to me. People don't want to run. They don't want to run and straighten it out themselves. They, like a lot of you, just want to go and help. But if it doesn't work, something else has to change so it can get back to work. 
And that's when the frustration from a number of the members of the board, all three of them actually, that was my reaction. This is a, a seven year situation with me. It's more years than that with the town. There is a general dissatisfaction with the performance of the board, but I think more than anything, the fact that the elected piece of it uh, doesn't work as well as it should, uh, I think is getting in the way of it working well. That would be my my recommendation, and that's the reason why, and that's, and that's the, the communication I have had with each member of the board individually. This isn't a temporary crisis. This is a, uh, an operation, an important function in the, in the town of Swansea that I think uh, needs to run better and be elected part of it particularly. Um, that, doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to take action now, but I think uh, the board, as a representative of the entire community, should think about that. Which is why I felt compelled to put it on the agenda this evening. Like I said before, we don't have the opportunity to discuss uh, anything outside of this public forum as, a, as members of the board. Uh, the law precludes us from being able to do that. Uh, so our only opportunity is to do so in front of this television camera uh, in a public forum. And be that as it may, um, I felt compelled that uh, the executive must have a discussion about this. Uh, even if it came to a conclusion that uh, we take no action at this point in time, I felt as though it was necessary uh, given the circumstances we find ourselves in, uh, to to have that to have that discussion, um, and so with that, uh, Mr. Ventura, would you like to uh, uh, add in terms of? Uh, yeah. Are you going to allow us, sir? To you do not. Forum? You do not have the floor. <coughs> Is this the You're out of order or once more, <coughs> and if you are out of order one more time, I'm going to ask you to leave the building. Absolutely, Mr. Ventura. I would like I would like to uh, gain a better understanding. I think that I'll come back to Ms. Markey one last time, but um, I think I'd like to gain a better understanding as to what, if anything, you would like to do. Would you like the board to take this matter up, investigate it further, discuss our options, or would you like to, um, at this point in time, um, uh, basically let this discussion of this topic serve as um, the uh, impetus for for a change in direction of the recognition. Well, you know, I, I think that it's been brought to our attention. Um, it's been brought to the uh, Recreation Commission's attention that it's caught our attention. Um, we have options in front of us from uh, our chairman, uh, which lays out um, which directions we can go here. His suggested directions. Um, I think for right now, I don't necessarily want to act on this, uh, but you know, I, I, I'm cognizant of the fact that I've always thought, um, since I started paying attention to this time, uh, that certain boards just shouldn't be elected. Um, I've never heard this board this one should be elected. Uh, I think if you would start this time from scratch right now, you certainly this certain board. Um, that being said, uh, it is an elected board. Um, I think, though, at this time, uh, I have my options in front of me. Uh, I don't necessarily want to act uh, at this time. I, I, would, I would hope that um, you know, this board uh, can play well with work together. Um, you know, this, I bring it to the attention of this current board we have now. Before this board, uh, members of this board who were prior uh, to, uh, to this uh, administration, I guess for lack of a better word, uh, would disagree and then couldn't get along. Um, it would become very personal. Uh, this board comports itself in a very professional manner. Uh, we disagree and then we move on. Uh, and that's good for the town of Swansea and that's good for this board. Um, so I would hope that. Um, I think I would like to, are we going to hear from any members of I don't think uh, this is a business meeting of the Board of Selectmen. I'd like to move to the next item. Um, so at this time, I'm not, you know, I'm going to move on anything. Uh, I'm just glad it's been uh, put to our attention. Uh, I'm glad we've been able to see uh, our options, what they are. Uh, and we are sending uh, a message at this time. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Ranger. Mr. Marcus. Confirm. Uh, again, Mr. Chairman, uh, I, uh, the one thing uh, I think that was a mistake in this panel, I, I don't think town council has been involved in this board uh, much more.
more so than other boards, and uh, I'd like to make that clear. There's only been recent intervention. Uh, I think that uh, they have an opportunity to move forward. There's an election coming up, there's a new membership, and I, I think that the message is quite clear. I would, uh, I would, I would enable my trust in them, and uh, I would like uh, to move uh, move on and uh, leave this right where it is for the guys that merge with the country's smart I have one more response to that. Go ahead. <coughs> uh, attorney Frank and, and our attorneys uh, are involved with other committees often, but I would I would argue that it's in cases uh, where they are actually acting on the substance of what's being uh, dealt with, whether it's planning boards, other boards, or and including us, we're probably the highest. But um, there isn't another board where our our town council has been required to go just to maintain order. And that was what I meant. So maybe I wasn't clear. He probably isn't technically accurate to say he's been involved more with this committee than others, but he's been more involved in the 70s I've been here tonight of course. Uh, he's been involved more with this committee just to maintain more. And that's not necessarily the end of, of the world, but it has uh, gone over the normal budget for our legal budget for the year. We're going to have that conversation. So it's not, a, it's not something that uh, doesn't count. Um, and it was just one of the, of the many elements that I thought needed to be considered. Well, gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for your input. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I'm glad we had the opportunity to have this discussion. I think it had, it had to happen, um, even if no action uh, came as a result of it. Uh, but certainly the discussion had to happen. For a crazy matter to the surface. I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman, before we leave the agenda item, right, I mean, uh, I'd like to mention 175 Boulder Avenue. Will they have continued use in I think so we can provide utility service to them. I think we're going to look at that. Um, I think certainly for storage, it's probably as good as we have, although there's a possibility we can use the community center. Um, I don't think it was the town's intent to hold on to that building, but we used it for a number of things, including uh, the, uh, the boat ramp floats. So as a storage building, I think that's probably a, a a plan that we can use going forward. As a meeting building, I think that might be a different story. Because I think we have enough, you know, it's, it's not necessarily my answer, but we have a number of meeting rooms that we're paying for E4 now and electricity. Um, not sure we're looking to keep another building to the point and, and, uh, and wait another building to the point where it can be used as a meeting uh, place regularly. Um, that would be my recommendation. We're just now uh, getting their stuff out of the old uh, preserved garden house. It's out. It's out. Well, we just got into that. So I think, that, as I said, as a storage place, an include plan. As a meeting place, uh, we're going to have to look at it. So are they going to be provided the opportunity to meet at the community center? I believe that's where they have the meeting. Is that accurate? Yeah. Uh, they can also meet in the, uh, you can meet here. You meet the police station. Same, same place as other people have been meeting. Well, I, don't, I don't know that that's even a viable option, Mr. Kerman. I, I mean, certainly that building is probably not ADA compliant. Well, I, I think if you open the garage door, it, it might be. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure about bathrooms. It's just not a meeting room at this point. It's not a meeting room at this point. <laughs> and it's cold. Yes. Um, thank you. Okay, very good. Mr. Chairman, if I could just mention one thing on that subject only, 175 um, Wolf Avenue, the board of the, of course I'm not on the board for two weeks, but the Recreation Commission would really like to have this board vote to give us that spot for storage only, I don't care, so that we can start getting in there and cleaning it up and start putting the storage in, because right now everything's just kind of thrown in. Thank you. I, I'm under the impression that a vote, is, a vote is never necessary. I've already communicated with Mr. Kern, and, and he's concurred that that's a good spot. Okay. Mr. Kern. We're, we're, not, we're not voting to let the Recreation Commission use it exclusively. There's a little bit of a hodgepodge in there right now. So the, the, the area that you staked out, you can keep. Okay. Um, so, but there are other people who are competing with you, as I think you know better than I. I haven't been over there, but there's some other stuff going on. So the direction of the Board of Selectmen is you have no problem with us putting up shelves and putting our stuff in an organized and orderly manner so that we're all on the same page so that we go forward and we have a good co good committee and a good relationship with this board. As, as I understand it, Mr. Kern, we've designated an area within that space yeah. that, that is available to the Recreation Commission for their use of storage. Yes, for now. 
Okay. I don't, I don't know how it's going to be after that, but I would refrain from putting anything permanent into the building. Very good. Okay. Attorney Frank, thank you very much for coming. I appreciate you being here. Good night. Okay. Item number two this evening.